very troubling. Judith Goldner, the attorney in charge of the Civil Law Reform Unit at the New York City Legal Aid Society, says she is outraged by new information obtained by the New York Post Monday. According to documents obtained from a Freedom of Information request, city inspectors found lead paint in up to 34 apartments where children with high levels of lead were living. Instead of taking immediate action, the Department of Health failed to require NYCHA to do abatement and move kids out. They allowed them to appeal. That's according to the report. What concerns you most about this report? Someone could have moved out of those apartments and a new family could be in them. We don't know whether those apartments were ever abated. And we don't understand why that was. For over a year, PIX11 has told the stories of children poisoned by lead. Last year, we spoke to Sharon Page, who lives in the Red Hook houses. Page's four-year-old son, Kion, had a blood lead level of 12 and is suing the city. Anything above a level 5 is considered blood poisoning. That's according to the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. And there is no safe blood lead level. How do I know that they actually tested my apartment properly. Last year, then NYCHA Chair Shola Olatoye resigned after the Department of Investigation found that she lied under oath about lead testing in apartments. Now NYCHA will spend $88 million on lead testing in 135,000 apartments. Is enough being done to protect the children inside NYCHA? I think the questions here need to be asked, though, of the Department of Health. What more, they know how many more apartments there are where this happened. A spokesperson for the mayor's office said this, quote, the process described in the story is the way of the past. Now NYCHA remediates any apartment found to have elevated lead levels. And for the first time in its history, it is testing every apartment where lead has not previously been ruled out. This administration has significantly reduced lead exposure for kids in public housing. And we'll be there to support every child and family who needs it along the way until we drive this problem into non-existence. Golder says there are still more documents out there and believes there are more apartments with children who are lead poisoned that have not been abated. PIX11 will stay on the story. In Lower Manhattan, Monica Morales, PIX11 News.